In this video, I am going to give you eight tips on how to plan weekly. I will also show you how to use the weekly compass. This video was requested by you in the comments. So what is weekly planning and why would you want to weekly plan? Weekly planning is simply this. Weekly planning is setting aside time to plan your upcoming week. So why would we want to set aside time to weekly plan? Because see, planning is not just about managing your schedule. Planning is not just about writing lists. Planning is about creating the life that you want to lead. It's about living your best life now. And weekly planning can allow you to do that. Tip number one, schedule a day for weekly planning. I like to plan on Sundays for the upcoming week. I try to get in bed a little earlier than normal and plan the week while sitting up in bed. One thing I like about Franklin Planner binders are that they are sturdy enough where you can place the binder on your lap and write on it. I like that the binders are wide and sturdy because that way it allows me to write almost anywhere even if there isn't a desk or table nearby. Tip number two, schedule when you plan to do your weekly planning. In other words, schedule when you're going to set aside time to weekly plan. Weekly planning typically takes about 30 minutes or so, so plan accordingly. Tip number three, do weekly planning in the same place each week. Pick a place that is quiet and inviting. Be sure your planner supplies are nearby, like pens, highlighters, and stickers. The reason you want to plan in the same place each week is because that is helpful in making weekly planning a habit. Tip number four for weekly planning is review your values. Hiram Smith said, your governing values should be important enough to you that you will invest your time, resources, and energy in making them a fundamental part of your life. Some examples of my values are family, financial fitness, courage, tranquility, and cleanliness. Reviewing your values helps you assess if your tasks for the upcoming week are aligned with your values. You will want to prioritize those tasks that are most important to you, and reviewing your values can help you focus on what's most important. Another term that we use for things that are most important to us is big rocks. So big rocks means those things that are most important to you. Are you finding this video helpful? Then please be sure to hit the like button and I would love it if you would subscribe. Tip number five for weekly planning. Review your previous week. Make sure you wrap up any unfinished business like important tasks and rescheduled appointments. Tip number six for weekly planning is review your master task list. Your master task list is found near your monthly calendar pages. This is where you list non-time specific tasks that you want to accomplish during the month. Time specific tasks that you wanted to accomplish during the month are written on your monthly calendar pages. Review both your monthly task list and your monthly calendar pages to determine if there is a task or an appointment that needs to be planned for during the upcoming week. Tip number seven for weekly planning in the Franklin Planner system is to complete your weekly compass card. The weekly compass card deals with your roles and big rocks. And remember, big rocks are those things that are most important to you. The weekly compass card is divided into two sections and I am showing you here my weekly compass card. The top portion of the weekly compass card deals with yourself 
And as you can see here, it says sharpen the saw. This means to do things that will help enhance and improve yourself. That's what sharpening the saw means. And so when you deal with yourself, there are four areas that you can use to help improve and enhance yourself. And those areas are your physical well-being, your social and emotional well-being, your mental well-being, and your spiritual well-being. So the idea is to feel complete and whole that we need to deal with all four of these areas in our life. So here's where you will write down the most important thing you can do this week to deal with yourself in each of these areas. So at the top here, I wrote down for my physical well-being, the most important thing I can do this week is to exercise three days a week. For social and emotional well-being, I wrote down the most important thing I can do in that area is to call a friend. For mental well-being, I wrote down to meditate three times this week. And for spiritual well-being, I wrote down that I want to read and journal on a Bible verse. So now we're going to come to the bottom part of the weekly compass where it deals with roles and how you relate to others. So the bottom part of the weekly compass deals with your roles as it relates to other people. I have five roles listed on my weekly compass. And the roles that I have are I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a financial systems advisor, that's the name of my job, and I am a daughter. So for each one of these roles, you want to write down what is the most important thing I can do this week in this role. So for wife, I wrote down the most important thing I can do is date night. It's my turn to schedule and set up date nights. My role is mother. I have a few things written down, but I think the most important things I can do this week as a mother is talk to the kids about college education costs because I want them to get good grades, so hopefully I don't have to pay for college. I also plan to talk to them about their grades and their eating habits. My role as a sister is that I want to check on one of my sisters this week who had eye surgery. My role as an employee or as a financial systems advisor is that I think the most important thing I can do this week is prepare for a year end and to reach out and email a coworker. With us working from home, I still try to network through reaching out to people every now and then not for work related things but just to see how they're doing and my role as a daughter is that I plan to call my mother this week we recently lost my dad so I really want to keep in close contact with my mother to make sure that she's doing okay tip number eight for weekly planning and my final tip is to now take these items that we discussed in the previous tips and be sure to list those tasks and appointments on your daily or weekly spread. This is how you transition your weekly planning into your daily task. So in other words, for example, take the items that are on your weekly compass card and actually schedule them out on your daily or weekly planner pages. This is an important step for me because I found just writing things down on my weekly compass card is not enough. I need to actually put them down as a task that I can check off on my daily planner spread. For me, if it's not on my daily planner spread, I'm not going to do it. I hope you found these tips helpful. Do you set aside time for weekly planning? Please let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like this video. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care. All of the items shown in this video can be found by clicking on the affiliate links located underneath this video. Also, you can save money with discount promo code TanyaPlans.